Hey, I'm Xonani, an artist from Flensburg, Germany. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the whole process of an artwork. If you enjoyed it, you can give me a like and if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Let's start! First I make a new canvas on my Procreate. Choose the size of your canvas on what you wanna paint on later. My Instagram followers voted for the mask man for my next painting. So I copy the digital drawing to my new canvas on Procreate and transform it to the right size. Cause it's really easy, I choose the symmetry tool, which you can get in the left tab of your adjustments. There you have a few options. Choose on the right the symmetry to have an axis in the middle. You can adjust the transparency on the top of your screen. As you can see, I'm sketching two sides at once, what makes the process faster. I love the symmetry tool. After the sketch it's ready. I print it out on original size, cut it out and bring it together. I use a carbon paper to transfer the drawing on my canvas. Make sure that every line is transferred. Let's see how it looks. It looks great. I like it. Now I can start to paint. I use Titanium white, lemon yellow, and Prussian blue. These little jars are normally for cosmetic. They are perfect for my acrylic paint. It doesn't dry out when I don't need the color or when I can't paint for a day. I love these and I'm happy that I found the solution. I'm a mom of two little kids, so my time to paint can stop very suddenly and I have to pack everything away. If you have kids, you know that for sure. So these jars are perfect for me. I struggled a bit with my painting ground. The texture of this cotton is too rough and uneven. 
I have to go over it with my brush a few times. That's a bit annoying. I bought this one for acrylic mark, so I decided to mix acrylic paints and markers on this one. You will see that later. Sometimes you make a new decision, that's okay. Here I wanted to have a brighter color on the mask. I like that color combination, the blues, greens and yellows. But I like contrasts as well, that's why I choose a bright poppy red for the blossom leaves. Hmm, I have to try it. Oh yes, that's nice. Let's do this. In my paintings I often choose elements from nature, like animals or in this one plants and crystals. Let's paint the crystals bright and shiny.
plan to give everything a cool outline, so it looks more cartoony. And I think that was a good decision. I take several colors for the outlines and just follow my flow. Okay, you see, I'm almost ready. I'm looking forward to show you the final shots. Thank you for watching this video. And here they are. 